After a weekend of financial uncertainty, President Biden is projecting confidence in the U.S. banking system. Even after two massive banks worth hundreds of billions of dollars collapsed, the second and third largest failures in U.S. history. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joining us, and you spoke with an expert about how this could affect all of us, Paul. Kelsey and Randy, the president of the Minnesota Bankers Association, explained there were, are some unique characteristics for those two failed institutions. He insists the state's banks are safe and sound, assuring local consumers and businesses here not to worry. First of all, they were, they were banking a lot of very, very large customers, so they had a lot of uninsured deposits. Um, that's a very unique thing. Um, they also had kind of a nationwide business. The typical Minnesota bank is much more locally focused um, and doesn't necessarily have that high level of uninsured deposits. And it's interesting here, Joe Witt tells me nationally, Minnesota actually has the third most banks chartered in the state, almost 250, only Illinois and Texas with more, not to mention dozens of others that operate here. Those, of course, include big banks like Wells Fargo, BMO, Huntington. As for those national concerns, U.S. regulators closed California's Silicon Valley Bank Friday after depositors rushed to withdraw their funds all at once. It is the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. New York's signature bank shut down Sunday. President Biden talking today promised those customers with money in the two banks will be fully protected while holding the executives responsible for these failures. The management of these banks will be fired. If the bank is taken over by FDIC, the people running the bank should not work there anymore. Third, investors in the banks will not be protected. They knowingly took a risk, and when the risk didn't pay off, investors lose their money. That's how capitalism works. Some tough talk there from the president. He also says he is going to ask Congress and regulators to strengthen bank rules to prevent future collapses. We're live in the news before you tonight. Paul Bloom. Fox 9.